All right, we're here at my outdoor worm bin and we are gonna check on three things. First, we just had two big freezes in Florida. So I wanna see how the worms did and I did have them in the garage. Next, we are gonna check on that bag of raspberries that we put in here and see if they turned it all to castings or if they still have some left. And then finally, if they've eaten enough of these food scraps that we put in here to keep things warm, we're going to do a slow food versus fast food experiment. So let's go ahead and dig in here and see what we've got. Now I did put a lot of bedding on the top after the last video just to continue to add to the, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. This reminds me of the last time we were in here. There are just a ton of them. And it is about 80 degrees out right now, but these worms feel much cooler. So the bag hasn't quite warmed up but look at that they are all right in the center probably keeping warm the freezing temperatures were two days ago and i did put them in the garage so i would say it was probably closer to upper 30s for them but wow okay so yeah here speaking of slow and fast food a banana peel and an apple are slow foods but oh my gosh yeah and they it is considerably colder than the outside ambient temperature in here so i think they are gathered in the middle because of the warmth now, while this is sitting in the backyard, I do have it kind of shaded. <laughs> I think they're all right here. This is what it feels like. Oh my gosh, a piece of plastic made it in there. I really feel like they are all right here with this food, and this food might have warmed up a little bit, and that might be why they're all in here. But not a whole lot other than the slow food to show forth. I don't see any of the lettuce heads or any of that kind of stuff we put in here. Wow, they're, <laughs> they're all right here. Um, let me kind of get them out of the way so I can keep digging around, but wow, I mean, now I'm finally to the bottom and still look at that right there. <laughs> I love this bin. It just has so many worms and I didn't take out castings once again. I think it's been two weeks since we've taken out castings. I usually do it once a week. So we're just going to see a lot of volume in this bin as we're going through it. But wow, look at that. Oh my gosh, this, this bin is amazing. And these are all red wigglers. So let's, let's just kind of toss things back and forth. What I like to do when I give a big feeding like I did last time is spread it around so that nothing gets matted. I mean, you saw some of those bananas and apples and even something like this. These spaces right here, they really can't get in, into them. So when I get in here and aerate things, I'm breaking up these little pockets that they haven't got to and then it will help them you know, consume it more. So let me just keep digging around. All right, I think right here is where that bag was. So let's see how they did with that. We put some raspberries in there, we put some bedding, and then we put some grit and coffee in there. So let's see how they did. It's looking like, certainly got some surrounding it. And we definitely have some inside of it. Get you close up, see if you can see. Let me go ahead and pull out the contents and see what we have going here. And oh, you can see all kinds of little holes in between the smushed raspberries. And it doesn't look like they got all the way through it, but there were definitely some in there. Let's see. Not as many as I thought. Got a few right there and a few right there. So we'll just kind of break this up a little bit. And then back in the bag it'll go. Break it up a little bit. Back in the bag so they didn't finish that. So we'll let them keep working on it. I'm gonna set this to the side. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and make a hole here for our next feeding. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna set up a slow food area and a fast food area. Now they still have a lot of food to go through, so it may be a little bit before we check in on this. Normally in an experiment, I'll check at about the five day point. And <laughs> look at this big worm mess. I'm gonna have to set it to the side here. We're gonna put them in two pieces of newspaper so that they're kind of separated and we can get a good idea of which they are going for. So let me go ahead and set that up. 
So we're gonna add some bedding to the bottom in order to have kind of a backstop to it. And it's always good to add bedding. You see how much bedding I add in every feeding and still there's just so much casting. So especially for a continuous flow bin like I treat this, lots of bedding, lots of bedding. All right, so here's what we had in mind for the slow food and the fast food. Over here is the slow food and it consists mostly of apples and a banana slice. And I think down in there, there's a pepper too. And over here for the fast foods, you see the broccoli on top, but mostly what's in here is lettuce and lettuce stalks, that kind of thing. So what we're gonna do is wrap them in newspaper. All right, so we got our newspaper here. And I'm just gonna put all this slow food right here into a bowl. Put it to the side. I'm gonna take all this fast food right here, put it in the newspaper, and then put it to the other side. So we've got our slow food and fast food, and we're gonna see which one the worms go to first if we get here in time, and then which ones they consume first. With all this liquid that's on here, that newspaper is gonna get worn out real quick and the worms will have no problem getting in there. Okay, I'm gonna fold this newspaper down on each side and then we're gonna cover it with some more paper and then paper shreddings. And then we'll go ahead and bury this after we add our coffee and grit. Oh, and I also wanted to add these two tea bags. All right, we'll go ahead and add our coffee. And if you're interested in a worm bin like this, I recently did a video that did the pros and cons of my three worm bins, which I film every feeding and put it on YouTube. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll be able to see when I release new videos. But this has been a great bin for me. As you can tell, the worms just absolutely love this bin and it is a workhorse. It absolutely produces like crazy and I'm able to feed it lots of food scraps and lots of paper and it just plows right through it. It's a 20 gallon worm bin and I'm gonna find a place to put these raspberries. And I always talk about how worm bins don't have any odor to them, but within this little bag here, I do smell like a slight fermentation or a, almost a sour raspberry odor. And that's probably because they were isolated. So I'm gonna try and almost fill this with bedding and the castings that are in here and kind of give a bridge into the bag for the worms. And quite frankly, they probably had too much food because the last feeding I overfed them in the hopes of keeping it warm for them in our freezing Florida temperatures, which I know a lot of you probably laugh at because you guys are under lots of snow or if you're in the Southern hemisphere, you are enjoying the summer right now. But for us Floridians, it was one of the coldest days we've had in a long time. Unfortunately, cold enough to, I think, kill my banana plants. So I think that's about it. And I hope everybody's having a great day and happy vermicomposting, everybody. Take care now.